Have you ever wondered if certain films are getting positive reviews based on what the film critic is receiving from the film studio? Here to take us behind the scenes is Eric Childress. He's vice president of the Chicago Film Critics Association. Thanks for bringing this topic to light for us. You're very welcome. So apparently all film critics are not created equal. No, absolutely not. And we shouldn't trust everybody. Not everybody. So what you have is you have stu these uh, film critics that go, these, I mean, use that term very loosely, mm -hmm. to what they call junkets. Right. And in a number of these cases, a lot of these people, these entertainment journalists they're called, are flown out to New York or LA, sometimes even overseas for bigger uh, you know, events, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, given free flights, hotels, food, and but then- But no actual money exchange, not correct? Exactly, no, it's not really a money exchange. It's just, just sort of amenities. You're treated very lavishly, lavishly. you're treated like luxurious. a VIP and whatnot. You get you know five, 10 minutes with the celebrities, you get to hang out and do a little bad interview with them and whatnot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're a little harsh. Do they ever say anything negative after that? There are, I'm sh there are, sure there are people hey, out there that do say things negative. You can't okay. get you know positive reviews for everything. Even even though there's always someone out there willing to give a positive review, just you know, usually it's it's genuine. They do like a movie like that. Right. But if you know, if you're put into that position and you're you have a mindset, and maybe you're not going to be invited back. Or you might be a little more generous to a certain film than you might normally mm -hmm. would have been. But in fairness to these journalists who are not here to defend themselves mm -hmm. right now, they are being treated in a certain way. But at the same time, mm -hmm. who wouldn't? Well, I mean, it's, it's okay to it's take... It's their job. It, it's one thing to be, you know, to be lavish with this kind of, you know, attention and whatnot. It'd be very lovely if, you know, a studio were to say, hey, would you come see our film, fly me out to Rome and whatever and review their movie? I would say, yes, thank you for the trip and your movie kind of stunk. You know, and, that's, and I might not be invited back. But a lot of these other critics, you know, that's not the case. They're giving you know, positive reviews. And like I said, not all of them so are should writing. So we should be looking at these with a critical eye then. Very much so. The Sherlock Holmes mm -hmm. ads, for example. That's a th perfect example. Yeah. Okay. So it did very w well at the box office mm -hmm. last week and came in number two. Yes. Made, what, $20 million. Mm -hmm. I heard it's a little bit of a snooze for some oh, people. Oh, it is. It's it's even worse than the, the first one was mediocre at best. The second one Some people one is like really the first not. one. I know some people, but you know it's mediocre at best. A lot of you know these junket people. They are the ones who like the movie a lot more than uh, most critics. Let's take a look at the rest of the numbers. Mission Impossible coming in at 29 million. Elvin and the Chipmunks hanging in there at 16 mm -hmm. million dollars. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo at 14.8. We talked about this. It's getting mm -hmm. a lot of buzz. Mm -hmm. War Horse at 14.4, which I hear is a good movie. War Horse is a good movie. War Horse is getting right into the award season. And right now, I think it's going to be able to stretch uh, to get to that number. And not much happening at the box office this week, and we've hit the dog days of winter. Yeah, we have The Devil Inside coming out this week, uh, which is uh, not being screened for critics. It's actually a more appropriate title for uh, what we've been talking about in this segment. Eric Childress, Vice President of the Chicago Film Critics Association, thanks for coming on the show today. Thank you.